Holy shit. Man, that solder. Solder cuts deep, y'all. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. This is John Phillips. Sitting here, um, trying to think of a word that... Describes what I do every morning. Prognosticate. Look that one up. That's a big word. Uh, anyways, I, my house is spotless. The cleaning girls. I come in. Look at Bella. I just cleaned this place up and look what she's doing. Shitting on my pavers, man. This is what dog ownership is about. So I get up this morning, my house is spotless. It's beautiful, it smells good. I change the air filters, everything's good. And when it comes to these dogs, you know, I gotta share the love, man. I don't want one thinking uh, that I don't love them as much as the other, you know? So I get up in the morning and Bella, her thing is she wants a belly rub every morning. So I give her a belly rub and I look over at, Listen to this guy. Yeah. Anyways, so I'm I'm rubbing Bella's belly, and she's just enjoying it. Her eyes are closed, and she's just you know in the moment and enjoying the hell out of it. I look over, and Gussie's about eight feet away, and uh, he's looking neglected. So I'm like, you know, I need to go over there and give Gussie a belly rub. So I walk up. He rolls over on his back. I start rubbing his belly. And he starts fucking pissing. Full on piss. Over my arm. Onto my fucking brand new floor. He's a puppy. He uh, gets excited. And when he gets excited, he pisses. He's one of them dogs, you know? The happier they are, the more they piss. So now I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, my fucking new clean floor. This guy's pissing all over it. So I'm like, Gussie, stop! And he fucking gets up and he runs into the kitchen and he pisses all the way through the whole fucking house all over my kitchen. Then he lays on the floor and he won't move. I just want him out of the fucking house at this point. This is how my day started. Now he's all... Because I yelled at him. He's all fucked up. Sitting in the corner. Feeling like he was a bad boy. Gussie, you're a good guy. You just can't piss on a brand new floor, man. Let me savor the moment. Better. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Brown. <laughs> Belly. Do a good girl. Why you shit? You got a whole goddamn backyard you could go shit in. Yeah, I let you shit. You just sh it's this is a free to shit state. This is a free to shit acre. You can shit wherever you want, baby. Cause that's what dogs do. This fucking filling up our land fills with plastic bags full of dog shit. <laughs> Jesus. What is this country turned into? A bunch of fucking Nazis. Fucking unbelievable. Anyways, it's a gorgeous morning. My leg is healing up nicely. I can actually move it. But what I'm going to do is take another day off. I'm going to jump in this spa. I'm going to sit in the pool. I gave away a bunch of stuff to a friend of mine. She came by yesterday and she's got a dog. Hattie. Drives me crazy. Fucking girl. Every time I see her, she's got this dog. The dog's got, uh, I call it giraffe legs. These little sharp nails and these long skinny ass legs. It jumps up and scratches the fuck out of me. Daddy. Anyways, I gave her a bunch of stuff yesterday. She came in here. And uh, I just need to go out here and do a little inventory. Make sure she didn't take anything she wasn't supposed to. 
She did leave me a bag of poop. Let me show you that. Let me show you this. Seeing we're all all upset about the poop. This is what happens. Uh, anyways, I told her not to take... Well, we're doing good. She took a lot of stuff. She's going to come back and get these cactus plants. Uh... Oh, she picked up her bag of shit. She left a bag of shit right, right in the middle of my sidewalk over there. But, uh, yeah, I've got, I gave her a lot of stuff, man. I'm glad she can use it. It served its purpose for me. This, this thing is going in the trash. I've got to untangle my, uh, my cardinal. I'm a big believer in cardinals. Cardinals are near, angels appear, or something like that. If, if cardinals appear, angels are near. Anyways, these are my uh, orchids. Yeah, you can see I really am. I have a green thumb. Uh, Gussie's back at it again, dragging out pots and uh, making a mess, but we're doing good. I, uh, I'm getting some incoming fire, which is which is cool, you know, about politics, which I like. I speak my mind, and other people are speaking their mind. Uh, yeah, it's all it's all good in the hood, man. Time will tell. History will, re you know, show who's right or wrong. But uh, anyways, it's a beautiful morning. I got a, an email from YouTube yesterday. Talking about how I can be more profitable. Oh, yeah. It definitely room to grow. I could say that. But anyways, I did get a... a uh, this is some serious shit here I want to talk about. So, I got a, a comment last night about from a guy who I, I totally understand where he's coming from. I, I make light of and joke about all different types of people, races. And um, if you know me personally, you would realize that I'm not a racist. I don't, you know... My family is is uh, very very large. Little literally, there are Asians, Blacks, Puerto Ricans, Latins. My family is like the United Nations, and that's kind of the basis of my my beliefs with politics. Um, I grew up in a uh, multi ethnic neighborhood uh, and loved it. I had. My best friend was a black kid that I hung around with every single day of my life, man. Unfortunately, he he was killed at 21 years old, and uh, he was like a brother to me. And I understand that some of the stuff I say may come off as, um, like I said, people who don't know me, they may think it's racist. You know, and I'm gonna watch what I say and what I post. Uh, we live in a in a hypersensitive world right now, and or you you know sometimes you have to look, try to look at look at the world through somebody else's eyes, what they're seeing, what their what their uh, history has been. Um, I know this is probably too much and you guys just want to watch plumbing, but I'm, I think we, we got a real crisis in this. This division in our country is a real problem. And for me, I believe it is based, totally based on the race, racism and hatred, thinking that somebody else is getting over. You're the one doing all the fucking work. And somebody else is living off of your fucking hard work.
it's a fucking myth. It's a fucking myth. Propagated by a political party that uh, is exploiting that, you know? And um, this shit's been going on for a long, long, long fucking time, man. And uh, I don't know. This might be a little too much. Yeah, it probably is. I'm just going to cut it off.